So hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today is the episode one of Scholar Spotlight series, and in this series we are going to host uh, scholars from different institutes, and we'll ask them about their experiences, which exams they cracked, about the tips, tricks, everything that you need to uh, know before joining the institute. So today we are hosting Devansh from IISC Bengaluru. He is doing master masters from uh, this institute. So welcome Devansh to episode one of Scholar Spotlight series. So I would like you to please introduce yourself, your institute, department, and your research area to our audience. Uh, thank you, Payal. Uh, so my name is Devansh. Uh, I am from Bikane, Rajasthan and right now I am pursuing my Master's in Life Sciences uh, from Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru. And my specialization is Biochemistry and Biophysics. Uh, I am right now enrolled in Department of Biochemistry, but my domain of working is uh, DNA protein interactions, uh, like the biophysical properties of protein. Okay, thanks Devansh. Uh, moving towards the next question, uh, what was the selection process for this particular course? Or what exam you gave? How much cut-off usually? And is there any interview or kuch additional requirements? If you to ask about it, you can elaborate. Okay, so for my particular course, Masters in Life Sciences in ISC, so you can enter through GATE and as well as from IIT JAM. Uh, I personally uh, admitted uh, via gate. So yeah, there is interview process. Uh, you can give gate. Hai. Uske baad, if you qualified gate with a good number, then there is a cutoff list that like usually ISC put it on their site. Then you can apply for ISC. Uh, and after, they, after the application, you get the cutoff list. If you are into the cutoff list, then they'll call you for interview. Uh, and you at the hundred percent like the criteria for the selection is interview. Like it doesn't matter whether you got the first rank in uh, gate or jab, whether you got uh, thousand or something. If your interview went good, so fair, no one can stop you to come in. Okay, thank you so much for the information, Devansh. And one more thing I would like to ask you: Ki gate ke jaise bahut sare branches hote hai, like gate excel, gate ecological sciences, BT. So for which branch of GATE did you appear for and admission Tino se hota hai ya kisi particular se hi hota hai? Thoda uske baare mein bhi okay, you can I, uh, Yeah, I personally uh, attempted GATE Excel Life Sciences. But yeah, uh, you can apply uh, through GATE Excel Life Sciences, PT, Biotechnology and uh, double E that's I think Ecology and Evolution. So okay. all, the th all the three are like basically you can apply from it. And I think there are some more you can even apply from chemical science and all. Okay. Thank you so much for the information, Devansh. Uh, we are fortunate to have you with us today. Thank you. So moving towards the next question, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the difficulty level and the pattern of the exam? Uh, not in much detail, but just an overview for our like new joinees. Yeah, so I think uh, gate is not that difficult because it's more kind of it touch your analytical thinking and critical thinking aspects. So gate is more like how do you think about the questions that you get. So it's not difficult. It's quite um, more interesting to attempt. Okay, so if you prepare well, then it's it will it will go smooth with you. Uh, and uh, I think it's it comprises of mental ability or reasoning, whatever we say. Uh, plus chemistry that's more kind of a compulsory part you could don't have an option in that but in the biology section i think we have five options either you can attempt you have to attempt two portions of biology so botany zoology uh, uh, microbiology biochemistry and uh, food technology so you can attempt the biology in combination of two any of these whichever you are comfortable in and you don't need to actually uh, uh, select anything in your gate application. You can just choose uh, whatever you feel comfortable in the exam hall. So whatever subject comes easy, you can attempt it. <laughs> so better to prepare for uh, three subjects, then you can get a good chance of getting one easy subject out. Okay, that's great. Thanks, Devansh, for such a detailed answer. Uh, moving to the next question. Uh, how did you plan your preparation? I mean, did you plan weekly, daily? Which, how you set the goals? When did you complete its labors? And how important 
attempt was to solve previous year questions and mock test uh actually my my journey is a bit different i really didn't plan much okay i was quite uh, fascinated by one of my senior who went for excel and he really uh, inspired me to attempt gate uh, then i went for gate i prepared around i think 5 months or something 5 uh, to 6 months of my last year in graduation and uh, it was kind of a daily planning thing okay i have decided that i have to do this chapter and like first of first thing that i did was analyzing the papers from the past years uh, which which chapters of which topics they are hitting again and again so reading those chapter which don't have the weightage i i don't find any sense in them so i just figured it out smartly that yeah these chapters i have, i want to do and i have to do this for git so i figured it out why the previous 5 or 6 years are enough i think more than 5 years is like there is no requirement for that you can do the past 5 years paper from the gate site available they are available on it so i think that i did and then i used to plan according to it like how many chapters are left and how many days are left yeah okay that's amazing thanks for like your suggestions to the future aspirants so the next question i would like to ask is uh what was your exam day strategy like of course nobody is gonna complete 100% syllabus and it's practically impossible to complete 100% syllabus so how did you tackle the difficult or unaware question in the exam what was your attempting strategy okay so uh my uh, like i i was i was like more kind of uh, excited to give exam because i was not also fully prepared as you said we, we cannot do it right कितना भी पढ़ लो थोड़ा बहुत रह जाता है सो आई थॉट दैट आई 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 द रीजनिंग पार्ट वेरी वेल हैव टू स्कोर फुल इन दैट एंड एंड डिड इट बायोलॉजी सेक्शन वाज टारगेटिंग टू विद द फुल फ्लैच प्रिपरेशन बट आई वाज वीक इन केमिस्ट्री सो आई थॉट आई विल टेक अ चांस इन केमिस्ट्री फॉर अटेम्प्टिंग लाइक नाइन टू टेन क्वेश्चन ओनली आई वॉन्ट टेक द रिस्क ऑफ डूइंग नेगेटिव सो आई जस्ट फिगर इट आउट लाइक या ये करना है ये छोड़ना है एंड देन ये करना है सो देन आई स्कोर गुड इन रीजनिंग एंड बायोलॉजी सो आई गॉट गुड मार्क्स या सो इन शॉर्ट आई विल से नो नीड टू लाइक थिंक मच ऑन द एग्जाम डे जस्ट बी रिलैक्स एंड गिव योर एग्जाम्स विद योर थिंकिंग व्हाटएवर यू लर्न इन द पास्ट 5 6 इयर्स दैट विल बी गोना हेल्पफुल टू यू या दैट्स व्हाट वी कॉल एज स्मार्ट वर्क So thanks for sharing your exam day strategy. I hope future aspirants will follow it and they will also be your juniors there. So thanks Devansh. Uh now I would like to ask few questions regarding the interview. Like can you share some of the uh, actual questions that were asked to you during interview or just elaborate about the format of the questions that they asked? Okay, yeah, fine. That was a good thing that you asked this. I'm really excited to share my interview stuff because uh, I I I clearly remember what happened that day. So it was very fun. Uh, uh, I'll I'll share a story so that so that your aspirant will also link with it. So I went to the interview conference room, and there was like panel of five in IC. Ah, uh, five people usually sit in front of you, and you used to sit in front of them. and then uh, they they'll start very easily okay they will allow you to be comfortable and like adapt yourself to the place aisa nahi ki jaate hi seedha science ke question aa rahe hain aapke paas khatarnak aisa kuch nahi hota they are very chill with that uh, wo aapko time dete hain so mere se aise hi pucha ki kahan se aa rahe ho they have your cv right like the whole cv they have it. so we bhai pucha ke hostel se aa rahe ho ghar se aa rahe ho and these type of questions and uske baad lunch kiya nahi kiya and as a smoothly smoothly chalte chalte i remember one prof was me like two plants have eyes okay so <laughs> this is a very uh, different question like aisa kuch nahi hai ki iska koi certain answer hai okay so that's how you think as a researcher like if something comes to you like this so bas wahi hai fir uske baad next question aayega fir next question fir wo aapse puchte hain ki in which domain you are really interested in and you have a grip तो जैसे मेरे मेरे केस में था कि जैसे उन्होंने पूछा तो आई वाज श्योर कि अगर मैं कोई एक डोमेन सेलेक्ट करूंगा देन इट विल बी वन ऑफ बी मोर टफ बिकॉज दे नो वेरी वेल मोर देन मी सो आई आई जस्ट सेड कि मुझे आप कहीं से पूछ लो इट्स फाइन विद मी एवरी 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 टॉपिक इज फाइन सो दैट दे जस्ट टच द सरफेशियल थिंग्स ओके तो उन्होंने फिर वही पूछना स्टार्ट किया सो डू प्लांट्स हैव आईज एंड देन फ्रॉम द दिस क्वेश्चन दे वेंट टू द ह्यूमन आई 
एंड वहां से कुछ सवाल पूछे ह्यूमन आई से रिलेटेड एंड देन दे वेंट इन टू ट्रांसक्रिप्शन फैक्टर्स एंड ऑल एंड देन बेसिकली डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी के सवाल पूछे उन्होंने एकदम स्टार्टिंग में एंड देन लाइक मेरे पैनल में न्यूरो साइंटिस्ट थे एंड न्यूरो के प्रोफ थे एंड बायोकेमिस्ट्री के भी थे एंड प्लांट डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी के भी थे तो एक मिक्सचर सा उनका कॉम्बिनेशन होता है तो आप कुछ भी डोमेन बोलोगे यू विल फाइंड समवन देयर कि हाँ किसी ना किसी को उस डोमेन का पता होगा सो so, उसके बाद फिर उन्होंने मुझसे ट्रांसक्रिप्ट फिर न्यूरो न्यूरो वाले कोई प्रोफेसर थे उन्होंने फिर न्यूरो का पूछना स्टार्ट किया एंड लाइक साइन एंड ऑल एंड फिर उन्होंने ऐसे ही सवाल पूछे कि लाइक वाई ऑल न्यूरोन्स आर नॉट कनेक्टेड अगर सारे न्यूरोन्स कनेक्टेड होते तो हाउ विल आर बॉडी फंक्शन एंड फिर ऐसे ऐसे करते करते फिर सेल की आप फोस्फोलिपिड्स के बारे में पूछने लगे वट काइंड ऑफ फोस्फोलिपिड यू नो एंड फोस्फोलिपिड में से फॉस्पेट एंड लिपिड्स को अलग कैसे कर सकते हैं लाइक प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट के क्वेश्चन थे ज्यादा मेरे में सो इट वॉज नॉट नॉट काइंड ऑफ की कुछ स्पेशली कुछ एक एक ही चीज को पकड़ लिया उसमें बहुत डीपली जा रहे हैं वो ऐसा नहीं है तो दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सी हाउ कॉन्फिडेंट यू आर इन आंसरिंग क्वेश्चन एंड हाउ बेसिक नॉलेज दैट यू हैव उनको नहीं चाहिए कि आप कुछ बहुत ही ज्यादा एक्सट्रीम नॉलेज लेके आ गए बहुत बड़ी बड़ी किताबों से दे जस्ट वॉन्ट कि आपके बेसिक्स कितने क्लियर है आपके कंसेप्ट कितने क्लियर है एंड एट लास्ट आई थिंक मैं जाने वाला था तो मुझे फिर से रोक के उन्होंने पूछा कि कुछ और सवाल हमारे हैं तो फिर उन्होंने मुझे प्रोबेबिलिटी के आई थिंक फाइव टू सिक्स क्वेश्चंस पूछे एंड देन माय इंटरव्यू वेंट ओके ओके थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग योर जर्नी इन सच अ डिटेल एंड इन अ स्टोरी टेलिंग वे सो दैट्स रियली एक्साइटिंग टू हियर एंड इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्चुअली सो मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन how how rigorous is the course work at isc i mean for particular <laughs> domain you are in and what kind of research opportunities projects and labs are available did you given liberty to choose a lab or it's already decided when you like fill the form for admission okay so uh, i think uh, regarding the course work i think it it's it's pretty good it's i, I won't say it's too much heavy but yeah i think you also know that very well <laughs> but for aspirants i'll say it's it's about learning okay so you if you guys are really interested in learning something hard you can go for it and you have to choose your courses so no one going to force you out ki tum ye course karo ya wo course karo so it's on you whatever you feel like interested in you can go for that course to so, maine jaise biochemistry and biophysics ke course kiye the to that's a that's obviously a little bit they have physics in it and chemistry in it so they become hard but itna nahi hai because you do it with a group right tumhare dost bhi honge wo bhi karenge and you will do it so it it kind of a group task jaisa ho jata hai to ho jata hai aisa nahi hai ki and in iic nobody gets field okay <laughs> so then it's very it's very chill like you will do it ultimately thoda pressure aata hai but it's manageable और उसके बाद लैब के लिए आई थिंक हमारी ज्वाइनिंग होती है तो अगस्त से हमारा कोर्स स्टार्ट होता है तो हमें विद इन फॉर मास्टर्स बिकॉज देर आर नो लैब रोटेशन इन मास्टर्स सो यू हैव टू चूज ए स्पेसिफिक लैब तो उन्हीं टेन डेज में आपको फिगर आउट करना होता है लैब आप विजिट कर सकते हो मेल्स करके प्रोफेसर को एंड यू आर यू हैव द फुल लिबर्टी टू चूज एनी लैब हु इज विलिंग टू टेक यू और शी इज विलिंग टू टेक यू अप तो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द प्रोफेसर एंड यू इफ यूर इफ यूर इंटरेस्ट इज देयर इन सम लैब and the professor is willing to accept you then it's fine they will give you that lab it doesn't matter whichever department in biological division you are going for okay and thank uh, you yeah, yeah there is full liberty okay thank you so much devansh for sharing the information and uh, next thing i would like to ask you it's a, a bit related to your uh, like personal challenges and adaptations so what were what was the biggest challenge you faced when you joined this institute like 6 months back and how did you overcome it uh so the biggest challenge for me was uh, managing uh, those much credits because uh, jab apan ug mein hote hain to apan ho sakta hai kisi ke semester mein 22 credit ki hote hain kisi ne kisi ne kis ke hote hain but when you comes to when you come to isc it's it's a different scene yahan ke 16 credit bhi bahut hote hain like bahut hi acche khase heavy burden dete hain aapko to aur maine apne first sem mein 18 credits kiye jo ki i think masters mein almost all sab ne kiye so thoda sa regress hota hai wo challenging hota hai but ha main ye kahunga ki Uh, एक फेज आता है जब एग्जाम्स आते हैं ठीक है और आप पढ़ रहे होते हो पढ़ रहे होते हो बट उस टाइम पे ऐसा लगता है कि यार मैं सब छोड़ के यहाँ से चला जाता हूँ 
बस उस टाइम पे आपको खुद को ब्रेक होने से रोकना है एंड अगर आपने वहां सर्वाइव किया देन यू विल डेफिनेटली पास द थिंग इट्स इट्स बिकॉज़ एग्जाम में तो आप अच्छा करने वाले हो क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली एग्जाम बहुत ज्यादा एक्सट्रीमली टफ नहीं आते हैं दे बेसिकली व्हाटएवर यू लर्न इन द क्लास यू अप्लाई देयर सो बस वो ब्रेक डाउन फेस से बचना है या सो थैंक्स फॉर शेयरिंग योर एक्सपीरियंस दैट्स रियली इंस्पायरिंग हाउ यू टैकल्ड द स्ट्रेस लाइक व्हिच इज गिवन बाय आईएससी ऑन यू ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम डेज <laughs> that's commendable <laughs> so uh, i would like to ask few more questions uh, it's more of uh, focused on the advices you want to give to future aspirants so what common mistake should a uh, future aspirant like a person who is giving either iit jam or gat uh, b or gate or any other exam he or she should avoid during preparation phase okay uh well i think this is the most important part of this video because uh, when i was a aspirant when i was an aspirant to mujhe bhi aisa lagta tha ki like it's it's kind of a big dream or something but to be very honest it's just a part of learning to agar insaan seekhna chahta hai aur uh, wo har ek level pe seekh raha hai so matlab aap exam ko leke mat baitho ki mujhe iit jam dena hai gate dena take it as a learning process ki mujhe ye cheeze seekhni hai एंड आप ये भी मत सोचो कि मुझे सारा ही सिलेबस कवर करना है कवर स्मार्टली कुछ चीजें छोड़नी भी होती है तो कुछ चीजों को छोड़ो एनालाइज करो प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स को कहाँ से ज्यादा हिटिंग क्वेश्चंस आते हैं किस टॉपिक से आते हैं क्योंकि एक पैटर्न है वो आपको क्लियरली दिख जाएगा जब आप एनालाइज करोगे तो, तो उन्ही टॉपिक्स को स्ट्रॉन्ग करो अपने टॉपिक जो स्ट्रॉन्ग है उनको और स्ट्रॉन्ग करो जो बहुत ही ज्यादा वीक है उनपे ज्यादा माथा मत मारो क्योंकि उनको आप एक मॉडरेट लेवल पे ला के भी गेट या जैन के क्वेश्चंस नहीं सॉल्व कर पाओगे बल्कि जो आपके स्ट्रॉन्ग टॉपिक्स हैं उनको और स्ट्रॉन्ग बनाओगे तो आप एटलीस्ट वो पार्ट श्योरिटी से कर पाओगे कि हाँ आपने सही किया है वो सो so, वो है पैनिक करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है इस जस्ट एग्जाम तो मतलब ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि तुम बहुत कुछ लूज करोगे या इट्स बेसिकली लर्निंग सो गो फॉर इट प्ले ब्रेवली इट्स इट्स फाइन यू कैन डू इट अल्टीमेटली या सो थैंक्स फॉर योर एडवाइस devansh so the next question is give us any three tips that a future aspirant should not miss should not miss <laughs> okay okay first thing if you are if you are really looking for gate then uh, don't miss the reasoning part you have to score 10 by 10 in that because it's going to give you a rank boost or something like that and uh, uh, second thing is like do not think much do not do overthinking uh matlab it's 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 doable if we can do it like you can you can do it i can do it then everyone can do it right so we were aspiring to so wo uh, aspiring wala phase hi aisa hota hai it, it feels very depressing ki bhai ho nahi raha hai kahin par bhi nahi ho raha but there are a lot of options out there in market so you can go for iits ics ics and there are rest good institute uh, jnu is also there so bas aap preparation karo and just we have that learning attitude that's the most thing nahi karni hai wo bas yahi hai ki stress faltu ka nahi lena hai sab kuch cover karne ki koshish nahi karni hai smartly khelna hai and uh, guidance lo agar aapke paas hai jaise agar aapke aspirants jo hai wo aapse definitely pooch sakte hain jo ki maine bhi apne selection process mein puchi bahut sari cheeze aapse so uh, matlab ek guidance ka bahut impact padta hai if you have someone some person who is already who already did that and wo wahan pe hai jahan pe tum jana chahte ho तो आई थिंक उससे बेटर तुम्हें कोई नहीं बता पाएगा सो यूज दैट रिसोर्स क्योंकि अल्टीमेटली uh, तुम्हारा फायदा होगा उसी से तो अगर कोई गाइडेंस दे रहा है आपको तो प्लीज टेक इट इट्स इट्स वेरी गुड सो डोंट मिस दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरेक्ट विद समवन हु इज ऑलरेडी देयर या सो थैंक यू सो मच देवांश इतना अच्छे से आंसर करने के लिए इतना पेशेंटली आंसर करने के लिए और सबसे बड़ी बात अपना टाइम देने के लिए और हम बस इस वीडियो का लास्ट क्वेश्चन कि अगर तुम्हें अपनी जर्नी को एक वर्ड या एक सेंटेंस में बताना हो तो वो क्या होगा पायल देयर इज अ फेमस कोड दैट आई रियली लाइक इट्स इट्स इन ग्रीक लैटिन बट आई विल से इन इंग्लिश फॉर्च्यून फेवर द ब्रेव ओके सो इफ यू आर ब्रेव इनफ टू अटेम्प्ट समथिंग आउट देन फॉर्च्यून विल आल्सो फेवर यू सो बस आप ब्रेवली अटेम्प्ट करो एंड गो फॉर इट लाइक अ वॉर यू गोना विन इट या दैट्स ट्रूली इंस्पायरिंग Uh, so thank you so much devansh for joining us and for giving your precious time wishing you a very bright future and career ahead see you soon